Dear God, I pray you send someone to teach us how to love right. The love we have of each other is not the same kind of love you gave us. Or maybe we don't want to be in love, we're just walking pretenders, giving lovely names to things that maim us, blame us. Even for how we choose to define love, the bloggers are saying men are killing women because of love, but it's not true. It's not the right message from you. Christ came so we could live life in full. Love is to die for, not to kill for. Ooh. The info that men have got is not entirely true. Women do not come from our ribs, they come from you, my God. And we give love, we don't own love. Oh God, just send someone. <laughs> I could close the show on that note. Ooh. Yeah, Genesis, inspiration of that one. Yeah. Yeah, what is it? So, uh, this time when there were many killings, yes. uh, many ladies were being killed in relationships, and I felt like we did not understand what love was. And then there was a conversation on Twitter, and people were saying it was because of love. So I felt like that, that's not love. Yeah. That, that's not love. So I, I was disturbed. You were disturbed. <laughs> I was disturbed. Yeah, you had to write it. That's, that's yeah, not love. Yeah, it's, I mean, this line, love is to die for, not yeah. to kill for. Yeah. yeah. Plus love, is, you give love. You don't, you don't own love. Yeah. Yeah. Love is not possession. Yeah, love is giving. It's so not you, possession. So if I obsession. love someone, yeah. yeah. possession yeah. yeah. If I love someone, I'm not guaranteed that they love me back. Mm. Yeah. I'm not loving them because they love me. Mm -mm. That's why, that's them, why yeah. they say love, the Bible says love is kind. And people forget about the meaning of kindness. For example, if you're in a relationship and I'm, I'm in a position where I can buy you anything, if I buy you a watch, I'm not being kind. Mm -mm. There's something I want from you. Mm -hmm. From a man and have money, and I'm, I'm, I'm paying for all these things, your bills and everything, but there's something I want from you. That's not kindness. Kindness is actually doing something without expecting anything in return. Ooh. I could even do it and not see you again. Yeah. So that's Never, kindness. Ever, ever, ever. And then, you know, women don't come from our ribs, they come from <laughs> you. Yeah, because it's another one I did too. Like, I don't remember the time you met Tulema Rib. Cracking. Rib cracking. Okay, so I want you to read. Yeah. Page 47. I got you. Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> you see me? I see you. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a girl I like who likes that I like her the way I do. But she doesn't like me the same way. This is not the first time. Once in a while, when I find the pattern in someone's heart that matches my beat, I become a hunter. Yet my hands are too empty for me to say I gather. I'm not sure about Cupid. I mean, Cupid has this thing of pointing me to girls who are already taken. Girls I call by name while another man calls them mine. <laughs> I'm still searching for a girl who carries the whole solar energy in her eyes then in my life I will fear God and the fact that one day she will stare at me too much, I will burn. But if right now I look like I do not break, then maybe it's because you can't allow yourself to break when there's no one to hold you. <laughs> Dude, you're just spoiling this moment. I mean, the guy is in his feelings. Okay, there's a guy, bro, there's a girl bro. he likes. Pole bro. <laughs> okay. Pole. So is that is that like a real life experience? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you need to story. Hey, she was on Nairobi, what? And you like this girl? I know this girl. Yo, this th love is love. The way love works, the way these things work, yo. Yeah. You find someone you really like, they don't like you back the same. But there's someone else who really likes you. And you don't but like you them don't back like, the same. Yeah. So, yeah. They retweet. They retweet. They retweet. They retweet. They retweet. That casaco. It sucks. Yeah, it really does. This is that casaco. No, it really does. And um, this line here, I, you know, because I read that, I said, hmm. I mean, Cupid has this thing of pointing me to girls who are already taken. Eish. Yeah, eish. you find a girl and she's the one. You're like, hmm, this is the one. And then I'm scared when I'm saying, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm taken. Uh, actually, I'm going to be. When you're not going to be, I'm going to be taking the movie back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you'll give me a headache by the time we are done. <laughs>
Okay, you haven't had those experiences, right? Meaning? What does that even mean? How I love you? Sasa there's you said you from demon and come on and be back up boys. The age Buddha. Chapters, but I see I'm just here to help you, brother. I just see. read that. I, I see what you're doing. I see I what you're doing. Mufasa, brother, Mufasa. Hey. Oh, it's a prayer. Okay, prayer. So it was a prayer. <laughs> this is Psalm 16. Psalm 16. Mm. Verse 2. Mm. Verse 2. Mm. For my future wife, there are things about me she should know. So just in case you're reading this, I, my name is Kibet, but most people call me Mufasa. I spend my days uprooting words from the flows of my soul. My mind has those. Some thoughts have locked themselves at the back, but you should know, I cut my nails after every one week. The first name that hits me when I, say, when I see a dog is Snoopy. And blue is not my favorite color, but I don't mind if you come out of the blues. I know you are beautiful, because that's how I'll notice you. I know you have a smile that stretches like a hand. That's why people around you always feel touched. I don't know if the first time you say hi, my earlobes will lock rhythm with my eardrums and make music that will last from ear to ear. But I know what, it, what will attract me to you will be how strong and happy you are under the wings of a king of kings. So my mind will find vision in your words when you say, God bless you. I know I will love you because that's the reason I will be with you. But I know I will love you more because of your relationship with God. When I'm away and I fall, you will send prayers that will pick me up. The soles of my feet will always touch the ground because your knees touch the ground for us. So I hope you wouldn't mind that I took the time to know you first, that my lips found the words to describe you before they could find a way to say, I miss you. And hey, the day I walk you down the aisle, forget about numbers. African as I am, there won't be a number three or two. You won't even need to be number one when you will be the only one. We take a love break. And they say no to that. They don't say no. You be Oh. They don't really, they don't take empty words. <laughs> you should look up with full pocket. What are you, what are you, you know, saying? You know, you, you, you can't use poetry on someone. Like no, you can't, but you see, the thing is, by the time someone is actually poets, in general, very deep. Yeah. Because I'm trying to see how a poets are very poet, deep. Poets poetry is business. Yeah, actually, yeah. Is business with love. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that's true. So it's business. So it's yes. not a gift. It's gift. It's exactly. A, no, no, it's, 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 it's business born out of a gift. Yes. So um, mm, I'm feeling like if, like if, if I if I happen to eat on a girl, I don't think I'll use poetry. And I'm not okay. saying use poetry. My point is, yeah. by the time you're writing these words as a poem, yeah, it says to me that you have depth. Yeah, true is true. There's there's depth in you. Yeah. So and meeting this girl when you're dating, relating, whatever, it inspires you to even write some more. Yeah. yeah. There are people who. Uh, dating poets and they get that maybe as anniversary gifts just a nice cra well crafted poem like hang mahali you don't laugh like no, that no, my I'm point is I'm the nothing. depth uh, that you have yeah. has not managed to get you this woman or women that you write about Sometimes when you write, we write fiction, some, we write fiction and some imaginary women that we can write about a woman that I, 
kwa kwa the entire world ataipatikana Mungu ataijenga Mungu mpindi basi hao na faith atakuwa najua sina faith but unapata gani faith that I can man see imani see I'm dating imani that is my faith so <laughs> what is your point by the time you say sometimes uh-huh. when we write we write um ushawai hallucinate or ushawai uh-huh. Fantasize. fantasize yeah. or something uh-huh. Uh-huh. that uh-huh. then una need to realize all that you put in into words so yeah. when someone akiona and una ni it's like it's real it's, it's real mm-hmm. see mm-hmm. so but that's because it when, is whenever we write sometimes it's close to real see mm-hmm. sometimes even as poets mm-hmm. or as myself when i write uh, um najuliza ngani niko nafanya niko naandika ili nilifikiriaje hii so sometimes when you're in the in the mood of writing and all that unajikuta tu umefanya umeandika ukaanza kusoma hata wewe nakushtua vinye unaweza shtuka tu pia as an audience so sometimes when you're writing we are in the mood of an artist but sometimes we are human beings i i see that yeah, so you could even unaza kusoma unasema mimi niko nafikiriaje hapo yeah. then ukitaka kufikiria hivyo tena inakuwa hard mm. So, I see you. I, I see mm. what you're saying and that's one side of a coin mm-hmm. which I totally agree with. Yeah, yeah. The other side is mm-hmm. where you are writing from such a deep authentic place yeah. of the kind of things you want. Yeah. So in example if I know that you can write about this woman who I don't know join your heart of hearts who are you umbo hata exist but it's someone I'm akakuja tu kwa maisha yangu to be the greatest blessing of my life. Wanakujanga ukiwa na kitu ka era kidogo lakini unaona tu haiko hapo. Basi hata manyo kwa na era. Eh, hakuna era si tesi. Ah. Is always what you say. I think we're perfect. No. No, as in agree. No, me I hear what he's saying. You need to I hear but I don't necessarily agree. Okay. Especially if you've read this book. I've read this book. You have. Yeah. And you're so saying to me I hang out most of the time. So when mm. I'm reading this book. Well, I'm about to go over what I think you going to say. Yeah. But uh, so you see he's, he's a funny guy when we're talking. Yeah. He's never serious so when he's writing this. No wonder that you can't stuff. see what someone like me who doesn't know him <laughs> the way you know him is seeing. You get? Cuz wewe kwako ni boy, ni boy wako. He's your boy. He's your thug. Whatever it is you call each other. Yeah? But as an audience member I'm like damn it. Man, yeah. what? This guy has been through things. So that's the mystery of it. That's the mystery of poetry. Well for, for us we see him. We keep hanging out with him. Oh, we have some water. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Asante. Yeah. So look what I said, that's a mystery. Yes. The mystery Cheers. Of poetry. Mm-hmm. When you are when when people are writing things, when people are, are doing things until you hang out with them. Some most of the poets, some most poets, most creatives are very depressed. Most they are, they, they lay back and you don't know what's going on in their mind. In the real sense they are always smiling when you meet when you meet yeah. so you're in the mm-hmm. real life. But at some point when they go through one thing. Yeah. It's see, true. Yeah. So most of the time when they're writing you know, they only they only soul is their pen and their paper yeah. where they can go and express their mind. Yeah. Sometimes I can, I've written most of the best poems in my in my entire life. But I when I'm writing them I'm I'm never me. You in see? a state of pain. Yes. There are some poems I can't read. There are some poems that I have written and I've burned them and I'm saying God you take away my pain. Mm. You see. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes you can be enjoying the poem but the, what about the poet? No, like I enjoy a poem yes or anything yeah. I read. But this every written word has a spirit behind yeah, it. Yeah. You get? Yeah, true, true. It's true. Yeah. And that's where the Bible is the most very very powerful. Yeah. yeah. So when I read a poem like that, we are still on this my future wife. Yeah. Because that's what has evoked or provoked this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you telling me, ah, what is this? No, I'm, 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 I appreciate my father's poems. <laughs> do you? So I, want I, to... do, I do appreciate my father's poems. Okay. Yeah, and you I, clearly I, do not I'm know. His, I'm his biggest fan. Biggest fan. Which is that. great. You know which is great. So you, you are one type of a poet. Yeah. You, you write from, and you've explained, you know, whether it's yeah. uh, the pl- things you're going through, fantasy, etc. You write from where? This is different now mm-hmm. because basically this it's is like a heart's it's, it's a heart's right. desire thingy. It's yeah, it's it's it sips water. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> okay. It's it's more from a place of when you're thinking about your future. And you're trying to imagine uh you're looking at everything around you, everyone around you uh, and you and you're hoping that your life will be different somehow. And so it's it's almost like a prayer to yourself but at the same time prayer to God or a prayer to the universe True. 
just hoping that when the time comes you will have learned to, to be a better person mm -hmm. as an individual and as well that you might end up with a person who will make you happy mm -hmm. that's that's it oh little peleka bangladesh <laughs> uzbekistan <laughs> Wacha nikutafutie, wacha nikutafutie poem ya kusoma hapa. Sawa. Sawa. Tafile poem 2022. Shika, isi refu. Na poem 2022. Oh, unajua 2022. Iko hapo na mko page gani mufasa? Uh, page 56, uh, teardrop, soma page 56. Oma kupa ya 56, so chetu. My girlfriend is getting married. Ah, serious sana. Chagua. <laughs> 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 My girlfriend is getting married today to another man. She's not my girlfriend exactly, but man, it's almost happened. It was so close missing out on her wedding today. I and do are just simple words, but it's hard to watch a woman you want today want another man for life. There's not enough poetry for a poem about how I feel right now. That's just how I feel right now. I can picture her walking down the aisle and I'm not sure if the groom's heart will be doing somersault or freezing. But if I like Paul's repel, then for such a hot woman must be walking iceberg. I don't know if he knows a green dress and her skin and coffee and cream. But then again, here I go using a poem and to pretend I don't know so much. If I know so much, why I'm not the groom, right? The downside of a boy. Falling in love with a girl this age is, even if they, they wore the same watch on, the, on their wrist, the society will still read their time differently. The same person, who will tell her she should have been married by now, will tell me, you can start looking right now. I'm looking at life right now, but I don't know how the, I don't have the pieces right, nothing fits. I've been praying for a woman on behalf of another man. I'm not taking my prayer back, but this sure is the genesis of something. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah. Ni mnatesa okay, you see the reason we have so many love poems. I know yes there are four chapters each with different, yeah. Yeah. But the love ones for me were really strong. Like uh. whoa. You get maybe yeah. it's because I'm female, I don't know. Maybe a guy reading it would have he has the magic or it's female's heart, or it's in the season as well. Then it depends on your heart and your yeah, life. But now like, I'll put it to my first, I'll put it to my first. What? 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 That's how I think Kenya I gonna I gonna power on that side when you write something that's quite yeah because women are so words is now so fast yeah True. yeah especially the lovely words mm. so for us to nanga nanga probably love that because as well ni me ni me grow around many women my yeah yeah so you understand the women psyche the brain I I I will not use the word understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. So you pick, pick then something then to read because mine are all gonna be love based, but the book is more than love. Okay. We got 2022 size. 2022. What page? What? I like 2022. What page is that? It's on page 90. Eish, 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. There are schools with no roof, feet with no shoes, classes with no chairs, 
<laughs> mouth with no food yet our voting queues are, ke- are cheering our leaders to take it all the billions in their bank account and land they need to hang out with more billions that is dope it's dope yeah okay it's power <laughs> <laughs> okay so you feel happy now that you've read it <laughs> a point that's not love you're my eh? bro you're my bro now <laughs> so the challenges you go through as an author yeah what are they and how do you overcome them publishing part mm. is a problem and even if you decide to go the self publishing way uh the guy, the guys that you go to the printers eh hey, quality is a problem like professionalism is a problem you don't know place they have printed it iko po you are there the first sample you like this is good this is how i want it sawa under 50 sawa naishia nikirudi because wa it is me toka wapi zingine ni mbaya so 50 50 50 Uh-huh. It was it was it was a struggle. Like I I think I I made almost more than more than 10 samples. Wow. Before getting the final one. Yeah. yeah. So that's been so a that was a problem. That professional okay. was, was a big problem. Yeah. And then uh places to sell as well. Places to sell. Yeah, bookshop, especially if you're self-publishing. Mm. To get bookshops uh if you're self-publishing is a problem. Yeah, it is a challenge. So you use a lot of your social media? Yeah. But now the advantage is mm-hmm. it's the best way to share yourself with people because basically if if i go anywhere into a meeting where where any anywhere and someone asks me what i do and i have this on my hand it's so easy for them to take it and they already have a part, uh, a piece of me with them so this really helps i get you yeah. how much is the book going for and how can people find it it's goes at 1200 you can find it on follow me on social media mufasa poet anywhere facebook twitter anywhere inbox me uh there's a number there's a con- if you inbox me we'll share the- but there's a contact there on on my page where you can get email me call me inbox me all those options and we will share with you how to get the books it's by delivery so yet again we remind people about the event on the 9th sure. of 9th. october at the kenya national theater from 5 p.m. It's titled the Cha- Unchained Voices. Unchained Voices. Yeah. Unchained yeah. Voices. These yeah. two gentlemen will be there in, including many <laughs> other acts. How do people get the tickets? Are they out? They're on our social media. Oh, social yeah. media yeah. again. Yeah, I think we carried a couple. Yeah, we, we even have a couple. couple of here. Okay. I don't know come up this digital watch 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 and really up. Yeah, we can watch and really then guys. You meet a fanyaji. Cuz you imagine only two people watch the show. Wow. Okay, so ngine watabai. So kwa chena ni zingine. Oh, I thought. Tu di bado pale kwa landlord. <laughs> no wait, I didn't think you meant complimentary. No, we are just going to give it out your 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 fans. Wakuje. When you know when I think around up. Oh. Nice. Thank Wakuje. you. Wakuje. Wakuje. So, if you want to win this ticket. Yes. And maybe greet these guys yes, that sir. day. Mm-hmm. Maybe because they may be busy backstage preparing but True story. at least maybe tutasalimiana ni tafute I'll be there. I will greet you on their behalf. So if you want to win these two tickets or oh, one one ticket so it's not to going to one person um raising a son so you've heard you have to go to the author's page uh, Mufasa the poet yeah. yes. yes Mufasa the poet IG Twitter just Mufasa poet Oh there's no the Yeah Okay there's no the so Mufasa <laughs> poet okay you go to his social <laughs> You go to his social media Mufasa poet and if you want that ticket because you see what is happening on that night is a full experience mm. okay so sure. the least you can do is buy a book yeah yeah i love say moliona only oliona to go keep her here details i love to me nini come fast but the first person when you buy a book ticket moja ticket moja the other one me attend kwa page ya drops out of out of buy nini out of buy ticket Yeah. <laughs> the first person to buy tiko utamongeza tiko. Yes, I like it. So the first person to buy tiko. The first person to buy tiko on on my page and to me a screenshot kwa DM kwa inbox even the ticket. Si raisi hiyo. So those are two tickets up for grabs yeah. uh, courtesy of Mufasa and Teardrops through books and blogs. We thank you for watching but it's not over yet because they will both do a piece. Hey. On camera. Tunatumai voice huku. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and leave us on a high 
And until next week, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. So over to you, Mufasa. Mufasa. I started it, so to Malaysia this okay. time. Niki niki kumkanga yepi, but check it. Kupata kazi kenya ni kifo. That's why place ya job vacancy upati kana oko nyuma ya gazeti karibu na obituary ndio maana percentage deployment data wide decrease. Wasiwahi kuingia that kuna university degrees. Waambieni at the moment as kuna degrees but zi end up na kufanya kazi chini ya makoa pasiwa na kuna jasho za watu. Usiwahi tegemea jasho wa mtu na tunesi unafanya kazi ya kuuza colon ama rolon hold on. Kwangu sina LG but still life is good. Lyrically, mini mchafu na omu inajua that that is good ndiyo mana overall ndo za watu kasi isi white collar job studio cha makunguru na makasi isi isi wali tufukuza no focus wali sikia sinu yotu mishiwa umu abana <laughs> nasi dikufu umu abana kwa angu sina 24 inch tv screen but blood yangu ki screen utapata nina plasma <laughs> mufasa take it from the top selector the way i was raised my parents say, I love you by paying school fees, by buying food, by clothing you. My parents were not obligated to offer you friendship. Although there were friendly gestures here and there, like when my mother called me daddy, or when my father asked, Mukula. <laughs> my parents did not ask you how you were doing. They told you what to do, and sometimes they told you how you were doing. I remember the first time I carried lunch to school. My mother packed for me bread and tea. That morning, as I watched my mother pour hot tea into a plastic tin, which was to carry the tea in, my mother's words were, The truth that my mother could have shared in that moment was the fact that plastic tin doesn't keep hot tea hot. That day in school, I had bread with iced tea. Now this was different because this was iced tea without ice. Not nice, not nice. When I was 14 years old, I used to think of preachers as people who had a solution to every national problem. So when I was 14 years old, I told my mother I wanted to be a pastor. My mother said, <laughs> If you can't save money, how will you save people? <laughs> Thank you very much. Next October, I'm come by. I like it. I like it. I love it. <laughs>